All right. Here we are in Kilpatrick's place. We don't need to talk to him, but we do need to use his computer. So let's see A through F. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Let's see, Crumb V, aha! Ba-bong! Two counts public disturbance, drunken nudity, bond amount, blah blah, type of bond, cash, paid in full. Subject's corpse identified, being held at medical clinic morgue. Huh. Well, that would be a dead end if we couldn't get into the medical clinic morgue, could we? Which we can. So, let's just pay a visit to the clinic, shall we? I think that's a place we should go. I'll see you there. Alright, we are in the clinic. In fact, we're at the bottom of the clinic. The basement. By the blood bank. Let's pop this open a little bit. And see if we can't find the morgue. I think it should be down here. Uh, that's not it. Hmm, that's not it, but we do have a computer. So let's hack into that. Freezers! A password! Hackity, 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 Ambrosia! Uh. That's a scary password when talking about a blood bank. Passcode. That's interesting. 1969. Hmm. That'll be something to remember. Let's take a look at temper... A tour. Huh. One of the freezers is barely freezing at all. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? And we'll quit out of there. Well, in the meanwhile... Uh oh we're trapped by our companion. Oh, no! Get behind me. Foom. And we're free. Why more games can't figure that out, I don't know. Alright. Which puts us back here to the laundry, and that's locked. So we'll just go through here. Ah, someone broke the door. Let's bunk that. Let's move that around. There we go. And let's crawl through here. There we go. And in. If we didn't go in like this, we'd have to make our way laboriously through various parts of the hospital, and who wants that? So instead, here we are at the morgue. Bing! Pop that open. And oh, that guy doesn't look good. He looks like he has some serious problems. I mean, other than being dead and all. I wonder if it's common procedure just to lay out dead guys in the middle of the room. I wonder if that's a thing people do. Let's see, we can open these. Theoretically. Ah, let's get her out of the way. Get behind me! Boof! Ah! Let's open that. Eh, nothing in there. Eh, nothing in there. Eh, nothing in there. Nothing in there. You know, I'm thinking hygiene in this place is a real issue. They need to do some major cleanup here. Oh, there's something in there. I think. Provided I can open it. I think at this point the game is just playing silly buggers with what it allows me to open. You close. You close. No, you close. You open. Okay, I'll hang out over here then. Come on. Give me an open dialogue. Open dialogue. Open button. Open button. Come on. Ah, there's nothing in there anyway. Okay. Well, now that I've wasted your time sufficiently, let's pop this open. Lockpick! Lockpick! Success! 
Hey, a ring! Let's take the item, let's take the wealth of the dead. Boonk! And an automated access card for Foxy Boxes! Huh. I think I saw that place coming through. Ooh, and it's a clue for the Asian vampire. Well, that's nice to know. Let's pop through here. And let's go in here while we're at it. Why not? Let's r If you're reading this, you are not dead. Ha 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 ha. Cadavers. Password. Oops. Let's try... Cowbell? Huh. That's an odd password. Maybe they get a lot of fevers. In any case, Crumb V. Subject died from heart failure. Personal items stored in storage B. I guess that's what that trunk is. Well, we got what we need. Huh, a Bobo G. Well, I've played a little bit of Double Dragon. Let's see what a Bobo G died of. Beaten to death with a baseball bat. Well, at least it didn't say he fell down a large... He fell down a large uh, pit in the middle of the sidewalk. Okay. And out we go. Alright, we got everything we need here. So, let's just... Mosey our way on out. Stairs, 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 stairs. And this brings us back into the hospital proper. With that security guard who loves to shoot at us. But fortunately he won't do that this time because we have permission to be in the hospital. This permission is good for the rest of our natural life. It's amazing like that. And out we go. All right, so the next place we should head out is to Foxy Boxes. I'll see you there. Aha, here we are at Foxy Boxes. Such a wonderfully named place, isn't it? Nice little warehouse just off the diner. In we go. We've got a pass key. We've got a showdown coming. And this is our little warehouse. Well, we've got you know, a storeroom here, nothing important. We've got a room here. With a little Asian-style clock on the wall. Well, on the desk, anyhow. And a computer! Let's check that out. Reports! Hmm. Temple of Golden Virtue Progress Reports. Well, that sounds Asian. Well, let's check it out. Reports! Ah, didn't even need a password or anything. Canine observation. This guy's watching vampires. Huh, ah, that bodes ill. Well, let's check it out. 10, 12, 04. My initial observations of the city indicate that the canines here are both scattered and unorganized. There are three individuals of note, but they seem to be involved in some sort of dispute. Well, let's just skip to the good part, shall we? 10, 24, 04. You know, exactly how this guy discovers the three or four vampires in a city of two or three million is a bit of a mystery to me, but, you know, if these things didn't happen, I guess we wouldn't have a decent side plot, would we? Anyhow, the agent of whom I spoke before has discovered the corpse of Virgil Crumb. An altercation seems imminent. If I do not survive, let my last report state that Santa Monica is ripe for the taking. You'll find little resistance if we come here in force. Uh-oh. It looks like the Asian vampires are coming to take over. And that agent he spoke of? That would be me. Apparently, they are very quick on the uptake. Between me going to the hospital and coming here... He was able to whip down to the whip down here, write this report, and hide himself somewhere. These are very diligent people. Well, people might be a stretch, but they're very diligent creatures of the night. Let's check out the second to last report. It seems that I have drawn the attention of a newcomer. 
an agent of the prince. I know very little about this individual, but they seem much more resourceful than most Cainites I have observed. I will prepare myself in the event that our paths cross. Ooh, they're going across, all right. And let's quit out of there. Basically, what it describes is how these, um, he's observing the city for the temple of golden virtue, such that he may find the weaknesses of the vampires therein and take the place over. He also describes how he was toying with Knox for, you know, amusement. But let's get our fisties out, because it's going to be time for a fight. Now let's check out our disciplines. Fortitude, presence, blood buff. That sounds good. So in we go. Why, hello. Let's murder you. Hell do you go? Oh, hi. As you can tell, my disciplines pretty much do the job. I need to get blood buff back up. There we go. And he's going to run around doing some stupid thing. Ho! Oh, that hurt. Inventory. Hey, we've got blood packs. As a matter of fact, we've got good blood packs. Let's use one of those. Boop. Let's get our presents back up. As you notice, it not only healed us up, but it gave us a lot of blood back, too. You stop that! And now I will take your katana. And I will take your crossbow. And I will laugh at you! Ha 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 ha! Thought you could kill one of us, huh? Even the weakest one of us can tear you apart. Now, normally my companion would have assisted me in this little battle. However, she seems to be missing in action. Your companions can get stuck in other rooms, and it takes a couple minutes for them to find their way to you. Aha, there she is. Boink. I really should have waited in the door for a moment for her to show up. She would have helped me by basically distracting the guy, hitting him in the back, tanking his damage, that sort of thing. They're not very effective in a fight, but they can keep the enemy's attention, and that's really what you need. In any case, we got what we came for. Death! Yes! Murdering! Murdering the Asian vampires! It's what's for dinner! Alright, well we should roll on back to Knox and tell him what we've done. Bunk, bunk, bunk. Hey, the asylum's right there so we won't have to cut out any travel time. Handy that. Alright. Why, hello, Knox. Not advertising vampire stuff at all, are you? Yo, girl, do that thing yet? I did. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Oh, thank God, a miss! Yes! That thing was hounding me, like, every night. Look, still haven't heard anything from Bertram. Sorry, okay? I'll still let him know, but now, I have no way to repay you. Like I expected anything else. Do you have any idea what that thing was? That's interesting. I better be going. And then the music rises up to destroy us. We'll flee. Into the night we go. <laughs> All right, so we have defeated the Asian vampire, and next up we have the Ocean House. But before we do that, let's go down to our haven for a little bit. I'll see you there. <laughs> 